Okay. You lose so oh, close. We, okay. We're still so. We're, we're right now. We're inspecting the hips. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What a bad patient. You want to come? Okay. Palpate. We're palpating the hip and the stuff all around. Any tenderness or swelling, as always. And then we're going to check his full range of motion by bringing his leg up as far as he can. Most people can't, so it's if okay to have him bend. bend. It's the same thing. Still have that joint. Can you touch your toes now or something? Oh, no. And you do the same thing to the other leg. Sorry. <laughs> he can't do it still. And then you pop it for his knees. We still have abduction and so we're going to bring his leg out. <laughs> and then midline. Add up. Add up. So bend at the midline. Internal rotation. And then external. External. And abduct. Uh, come across the midline. Uh, okay. Can you come across? There we go. Yeah. Coming across the midline. Okay. Yeah. And range of motion. Oh, yeah. Uh, so then, oh, so oh, strength. Mm -hmm. yeah. She should have, she should be sitting there. For the hip. How do you do the strength for the hip? Remember? Put your hand. Push oh. against my hand. Push. Um, perfect. All the questions I charged in my hand. And now it's really hard to the Can you take a seat? Sit up. I got that right because I saw it. So then we're going to check for also palpating the knee on both sides. And then after we inspect and palpate, and then we can check strength or range of motion first. So I'm going to have you stand up. And bend your knee. Bend each knee. Then. No, kick front. Yeah. And then kick back. So. Now we're going to check straight. So then you can take a seat again. And then have you push forward. <laughs> both. Both. <laughs> and then push back. Okay. Okay. Five. I'm up. Okay. We'll have him dorsiflex. Oh, you would have inspected and calculated yeah. once again for ten minutes as well. And we'll have him dorsiflex, which is like pressing oh. the gas. Dorsi flex. Oh wait, up. just joking. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> flex up. Then plant our flex down. It's like pressing the gas. Then inversion, putting your feet in, then soles and soles out. And don't forget you palpated all the metatarsals, tarsals. Oh, just like how you did it in the hand. Check that out. And what is this when you go like this? That's for the spine, it's for and scoliosis, you know, but we're not really testing for that. You know, when you go down and you've got the S shape because your spine's crooked, uh, they hopefully they score. caught you. And I kind of knew it, and I could eliminate the spine. And this is two wrong yards. Yeah, that's for the spine. The two wrong but that's not on our list. Yeah. Okay. And then I went then you'd back also check strength of the ankle by head. Push up, and then that will teach you your issues. Because you were the hospital. I've got to go wash my hands. <laughs> just like I just realized. There we go. <laughs> and and if, that's if, our if there was an abnormal range of motion, and no, let's say he couldn't flex his elbow, all he could do is this. Hold it right there. You can take the manometer, and you would want to measure it. So this would be right here. It would be your 90 degree angle. And if you say, go ahead and flex, and he can only flex right there, then you can just say he can only flex at... 20 degrees or whatever. So you could use it to measure. But it's not necessary for the for the practical. But just so you know what it's called, what it's for. Okay. Okay. And, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our assessment. Very good. Okay.